Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be filming another weekly reading vlog this week and I just wanted to kind of go over the books that I'm going to be reading with you guys and just touch base with you. So the first book that I'm picking up is The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez and I picked this up because I went to her um, meet and greet uh, last Friday absolutely loved her everything she talked about i talked all about it in my last video so you can go check that out um but she was talking about her books and i have only read part of your world and yours truly which again yours truly five stars please read that book um but i wanted to start the rest of her books she has three other books that i need to read so i want to pick up well i have started the friend zone loving it um and then i'm also going to pick up her second one happily i think it's the happy ever after playlist so I'm going to go to Barnes and pick that up. So I'm hoping to read those two books and finish those two books this week. Um, and then I also am hoping to pick up Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Um, I'm obsessed with this copy. And this has just been all over Instagram. It's been blown up, talked about nonstop. And it's um, being heavily marketed as a romanticy. And I'm a huge, huge, huge romanticy person. So... I'm like I've like been dying to read this but I've just been loving the friend zone so much that I just have not been able to like pick this book up but after I finish the friend zone this is going to be the next book I pick up and then the happy ever after playlist that's kind of my plan in my head will it actually happen like that probably not I'm sure something will go awry but that's the plan so um I am also in the meantime still going to be reading Trust of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson um, I talked about it last week, but um, I'm really enjoying this book, but I'm taking my time with it because it's a much more descriptive kind of low maintenance fantasy book than I'm used to. And I am annotating and tabbing it. So I'm having a really fun time just like reading a couple of chapters here and there, um, writing down my thoughts and just kind of going along the journey slowly. I'm really enjoying his writing, really enjoying his descriptions. Um, and yeah, I'm just really loving it so far. So this book is about Tress who has left her home for the first time to go and find someone that she cares about who has been taken away and no one else seems to care, but of course she cares. So she is venturing out for the first time um, and you know, just coming across these people that she's never had to deal with before, but she's extremely smart and cunning and you know, makes her presence um known and valued so you know she boards these ships and she's able to like you know do the cleaning and you know make it so that way they don't just chuck her over the edge and kill her so that's always a good thing um so i'm not very far in i am only on page 85 but again i'm really loving it really enjoying his descriptions um but yeah this is my first brando sando book and enjoying it so far but just taking my time with it um as far as the other books go I don't really know too much about the fourth wing I don't read the book blurbs anymore so can't really tell you too much about it I just know that it's like enemies to lovers um romanticy has talking dragons like hello sold um and then the friend zone so far it's just about two uh Kristen and josh they of course have this adorable meet cute and they eventually find out that they are going to be in a wedding together for both of their best friends but they hadn't met yet and this they kind of had this first meeting and then they become really good friends because Kristen has a boyfriend and she is extremely loyal to him but Josh um, is a carpenter and is helping her with her side business so um they're they just become friends and so far that's as far as I've gotten and I'm absolutely loving it I love their friendship I love the way Abby writes dialogue and banter so yes I'm absolutely loving that um and then after I read the fourth wing I'm going to be reading again the happy ever after playlist don't know anything about it um I think it's just about Kristen's best friend Sloan and her story so very excited about that so I also wanted to talk about I uh, got a new phone I had the iPhone 11 before and I upgraded to the iPhone 14 Pro Max so I don't know if I'm assuming the video quality is going to change because I got like three lenses staring back at me now instead of two and my dad said the video quality of it was better so if you guys are seeing an improvement that's why and I hope you are for the money that I spent on it so 
I, yeah, that's all the updates I have so far. I will be taking you along the journey this week and yeah, I'll touch base with you guys throughout the week and I'll be reading outside today because it's super nice here and um, looking forward to that. So I will catch you guys later. Hey guys, so I wanted to film a quick update. So I um, got to about page 200 of the friend zone by Abby Jimenez and I actually DNF'd it. Um, there were just some things that were going on in the book that I just wasn't like a huge fan of. I didn't know that one of the reasons she was keeping this character Josh in the friend zone was because she had a boyfriend who was in the military and there were some like one or two scenes like towards the beginning of the book maybe like 50 60 pages in where it just felt like she was being faithful like nothing like that happened but it just felt like her emotions like she clearly liked this guy but proceeded to you know kind of hang out with him and do all this stuff anyways and that just wasn't cool but I pushed through it just because I wanted to see kind of where it went from there and then I got maybe yeah to about page 190 200 and some other things happened which I that I won't go into because that's kind of spoilery but those instances then made me just not want to continue in at all um on nowhere on the back of the book does it say that Kristen has a boyfriend like it's literally not mentioned at all the only thing that it really mentions that's keeping these two apart is her issues with having kids so I just felt it was weird. I don't know. I just didn't really enjoy reading about it. So I did end up DNFing it. I am still going to continue to read the next two books in the Friend Zone series because um, I did really like Sloane. So I'm interested to read about her story. Um, and a lot of people said that one's their favorite. So I'm definitely still going to be picking that up. Um, but yes, I will be putting this one down. So the next book I'm going to be reading in the vlog is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Um, this has literally been on my bookstagram nonstop. And so I've just been like dying to jump into it. Um, it's marketed as a romanticy. And I think there's like enemies to lovers. And like the book itself is just stunning. Like I must say, um, I love the edges. I love the cover and like the dust jacket itself and I don't know just the whole the quality of it is like amazing I'm obsessed and I cannot wait to read this book um I just really know it's about dragons and some sort of college I think so I'm here for it and um we are going to pick it up and see where we go from there but I'm gonna um start reading this tonight I probably won't get that far because I only have like a little bit of time I can read before bed but I figure I might as well jump into it and I will update you guys on my thoughts about this as I progress. People say it's like super addictive and they read it really fast which kind of makes me sad because that means it's just going to go by faster. But I think it's like 500 pages or something. Um, I'm trying to see it without spoilers. Yeah, 498 pages. So I'm super stoked to read it and yeah, I will keep you guys posted. Hey guys, so I wanted to film a little clip. So I'm currently um, out and about. I am about to watch the sunset and I am so excited, but I wanted to just do a quick update with you guys first. So I did go to Starbucks and I got a venti ice peach green tea lemonade. 
and this is thanks to Sarah Caroli. I just finished watching Sarah and Destiny Sidwell's videos. They're releasing a podcast together um, called Bookmarked. I'm very excited because I love both of them. Um, so I'm going to try this because Sarah literally always gets this and she loves it. And I like green tea. I like anything peach flavored. Not a big fan of lemonade though. So we'll see. Let's try it. Ooh, that's good. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, it has like a little, like a minty taste. Mmm. Unexpected. Wow. Literally so minty. I love it. Anyways, that's delicious. And it's not like overly sweet either. That's really good. Super minty. So keep that in mind, but I like it. So the update I wanted to film. So Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Beautiful book. I am obsessed with this. I am having such a good time. I am on chapter 11, which is page 133. And um, I believe the part that we are at... I don't, I didn't read the blurb, so I don't really know what's a spoiler or not. So, um, all I'm really going to say is that we are at the part where they, um, just had to like go up this thing called the gauntlet and it's giving me like, honestly, wipe out from ABC vibes. If anybody, ha except there's death at the end, which is tragic, but, um, that was like exactly what I was picturing the whole time you know my steering wheel here is literally like ruining the moment um so anyways so that's kind of the vibe I was getting with this is I was just picturing like wipeout vibes because they were literally talking about these um giant metal balls that like hang and all I could think of were these these balls that the people in wipeout like you have to jump from ball to ball anyways it's like totally off topic and like death is the um end result in this if you fail not in wipeout wipeout's just humiliation but anyways so i'm super loving it i um am really enjoying the main character violet i think she's like so badass like um they're like kind of you know alluding to something like, she's just wasn't meant to be a writer like she was always meant to be a scribe and I think that that's super that's super interesting that like her mom is like forcing her to be a writer when it's so dangerous and she has literally not prepped for this at all like she's been training for six months when most people are like training their entire lives so that is interesting um but yeah I just love seeing Violet's journey I love how she uses her brains to like outwit a lot of these people and just outmaneuver them I absolutely love that and I'm starting to see a little bit of the love develop it's like enemies to lovers and I'm loving it it is just so I just love enemies to lovers and especially when there's such like high stakes to everything like it just makes it like enemies to lovers in fantasy is just so much different than enemies to lovers in anything else and I'm here for it so yeah so that's the vibes with this book I'm obsessed loving it listening to a playlist with it and yeah definitely would recommend so far so that's the update for now I'm gonna watch this sunset and then I'm gonna read for a little bit and head home and I will touch base with you guys later
guys so i figured i would just film a quick update i am currently in the car um my husband is in a bait and tackle shop buying supplies because apparently we're going night fishing tonight so can't wait for that uh it's gonna be me my brother my husband my brother's fiance and i think her sister and boyfriend so it's gonna be a whole thing should be fun Anyways, I wanted to do a quick update on The Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. You guys, this book is so... Love it! So I'm on page 311 and there's 400 and I think 98 pages in this book. It is so good. I am living for Zayden and Violet's relationship. I cannot. Um, I just... I love them so much and I must say I love like the found family aspect in this book you know with the friends that Violet makes and just in the, the dragons in this you guys the freaking dragons in this first of all they're they're just so cool like I I've, I've never read a book where dragon dragons where dragons were as prevalent as they are in this book and I am obsessed I love how prevalent the dragons are. Like all I'm just picturing are these beautiful creatures and it just honestly immerses me into this world even more just reading more about the dragons, about their history, about all of the different things that they can do, all the powers. And I am so sad, so sad that I'm almost done with this book. The fact that I have less than 200 pages left makes me want to cry um but i want to keep reading it so that's my problem i'm having but i did learn in my reading sprints this morning that rebecca yaros is releasing the second book uh in november of this year of this year and i'm so excited i could not be more excited i cannot wait um i don't know when this book was released i know this was the first run so um may oh so it was like just released so this chick is like literally just releasing a book like a couple a mm, couple months later that is that's gutsy because it's like mm, yeah better hope people like it i mean people love this book i love this book and i'm pretty sure that it's the book club pick for next month for the wyverns and words book club that katie and Cass run um in their discord and i'm just so hyped this book is just so good it's like okay so the first half of the book you're learning a lot about like um violet herself and how she um got where she is and just about the school itself i always like forget how to pronounce it um bat basgieth basgieth war college um and so you're just learning about the college and about all of like the different you know sections of people and everything you're just learning everything about this college everything about the rider quadrant everything about just riders in general um you're just learning a lot about that stuff in the first half of the book and then the second half you get more of like the relationships even like her friendships all that kind of stuff the relationships with the dragons like you get a lot of that stuff starting in the second half of the book and the first half wasn't bad at all like I still absolutely love the first half but getting to that second half and getting to like learn about all of you know her relationships and watching those relationships continue to develop and just seeing how like her friends like care about her and how she cares about her friends and just all that stuff and like just seeing her relationship like with her mom and with her sister and like you're just seeing all these things and it, it's so good and I just love reading about Violet I mean I just think she's an awesome main character like she's so so badass and like I feel like she gets stuff done in a way where she doesn't need to act like the other riders like she's her own person she does things how she wants to do them and still manages to get the job done and I just think that's such an amazing characteristic for our main character to have instead of taking the path that everyone else takes and being okay with doing certain things she wants to take the road less traveled and try to treat people better 
and not just kill everybody, which is great. I mean, we love that. I mean, I'm also here for her. I wish she would kill some people because some people in this book are a bunch of a-holes. But that's besides the point. Um, so, yes. So, I'm super, super loving it. And I cannot wait to, like, as much as I can't wait to finish this book, I don't want to finish the book because I'm going to be so sad. Because I can already tell I'm getting overly attached to the characters. So, yeah. Zayden and Violet are just becoming like I just like reading about them just their you know things that they do every day I love their like banter with each other we all love good banter and like their whole like we can't be together like you know because it's like an enemies to lovers type deal and I like when books have like actual reasons that they can't be together and it's not just like oh I don't like you it's like no like there's like legitimate reasons why like they shouldn't be together why they can't be together you know and their feelings why they're getting their feelings all mixed up and I just really am enjoying it and I definitely recommend it even like I said I'm only 300 pages in and I just still really would love for people to read this um I actually told my mom that she should read this because I think that's something she would really like we I just really love the romanticy books and this is giving romanticy while also being so heavily pack it um pack full of dragons and like I just love it I am obsessed anyways that's the update that was like a really long ramble about this book but I love it so definitely recommend probably gonna finish this book this weekend um which is sad I only have this much left and I'm not ready for it to be over, you guys. Anyways, that is the clip. That's the update. I don't know if you could hear. So I'm in the car, like I said, and it's like raining like crazy where I live today. And I'm here for it. And so I filmed a little clip of the parking lot here. Um, just of the rain falling. Like, it's so peaceful. I love... There's nothing more peaceful than, like, reading in the rain. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I love reading in the rain. So, anyways. This was a... Wow, a seven-minute clip for what i don't know for an update for this book but is well deserved well deserved people okay anyways bye hey guys so i wanted to film a quick wrap up for this video um so i finished fourth wing by rebecca yaros you guys i cannot say enough good things about this book it was amazing the characters the found family the dragons i literally felt like these characters were like part of my life like i was so sad when i got home from work today and i did not have this book to read it was so so good and i heard that it is going to be like a five book series yes please her second one um releases i think in november and i'm so excited about it november of this year so she's releasing two books in this series in one year and i'm stoked so this book was about violet sorengel she is the daughter of the general um i think her name is lilith Lilith uh, Sorengel and she has been preparing her whole life to be part of the scribe quadrant so they're the, the people that um, take down all the stuff and write it in the history books um, and her Violet's sister Mira is in the writer quadrant and her mom is also a writer now the writers they go through this intense um, school at Basgeath War College and they have to <clears throat> pretty much survive three years there and go through this entire process during their first year they get um they go to what's called threshing and they bond with dragons the dragons in this book are phenomenal and i want to give too much away because it was just amazing like there's no other words to describe it i have not read a book where dragons were so prevalent and I loved it. Everything I was picturing while reading this book was just phenomenal. I loved the vibes that I was getting. I loved the imagery that was being put into my brain. 
I love the way the book was written. I like I said, I just love the characters and it's just so good and that's just what it's about. It's just about Violet's journey and her mom forces her to go from the scribe quadrant to the writer quadrant. But um, Violet has a chronic illness and so she actually has a really hard time, you know, with pain, her ligaments, her bones are not up to scruff with everybody else. She's only been training to be in the rider quadrant for six months while everyone trains their entire lives. And it's just really amazing to see chronic illness representation the way it was in this book and to show that like she's badass and like she can get anything done that she wants to get done. And she uses her wit and her brain to get 99% of the things done and that's freaking amazing. And I absolutely loved her. She is one of the best female main characters I have read about. One of the best main characters I have read about. I just absolutely loved her. Um, and I love her friends. I loved the, you know, her squad that she was in. And I, I that's it. I, this book is just amazing. Please, please, please read this book. I gave it a four and a half. The only reason I did not give it a five stars is there was something missing. I don't know what. The whole time I was reading the book, it just felt like there was something missing. I still loved the book a hundred percent, but there was just something missing and I don't know what, and I still don't know what. And I've been trying to find it out because I've written a review on Goodreads. I wrote a review on my book Instagram. I was talking to my friend Taylor about this book and like I keep raving about the book and I can't really find anything that I don't like about the book. But I just didn't get that five star feeling. And if you have had a five star read, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So yes, so that was this book, amazing. Um, and then I also DNF'd The Friend Zone at about 200 pages in by Abby Jimenez. So that's pretty much the vlog for this week. Oh, I did want to talk to you guys. I told you I was going night fishing on Saturday. I will insert a picture here of, or here, or here somewhere of what I looked like when I was night fishing. I was very ill prepared for said night fishing because it was raining. We were on the beach, so windy. I was in like a sweatshirt and leggings and sneakers, okay? Um, we went with my brother, my brother's fiance, Hannah, her sister and her sister's boyfriend. Um, so my brother was wearing boots, uh, his, fiance Hannah was wearing boots um Hannah's sister was wearing boots and her sister's boyfriend was wearing um what are they called waders they're like things that like go like I don't know they're kind of like rubber overalls I think or something I don't really know but that's what he was wearing okay and then me and my husband roll up and like we're in our sneakers like so ill prepared but anyways, and I, I didn't have like a good jacket, like a rain jacket. And so like the rain was literally just penetrating me and I was getting soaking wet. And with the wind, I was freezing, even though it was only like 60 degrees out, which is not bad. I was a hot mess. Hannah bought me a poncho and it was great, but you'll see in that picture, like whew, that poncho, like, I don't even know. Like I, it was a vibe. The entire, we moved to a second spot. The second spot, I literally couldn't see out my glasses, okay? I couldn't see out my glasses. I was freezing. Me, Hannah, and her sister were all just like piled around each other, just like waiting for these boys. Um, but they had a good time, so that's fine. I, I did have a good time, even though I was cold and wet. Um, but I did have a good time. I love hanging out with Hannah and her sister and obviously my brother and um, her sister's boyfriend. I love hanging out with them. Um, we all have a really good time together, so. It was definitely a good time. We got home at like three o'clock in the morning. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, so I, like I said, I'll insert that. I should have inserted that picture. So you'll see how I was looking. It was rough. Um, but anyways, next time I will be ready to prepared for this journey. That is for sure. Cause I was going to even film some clips for you guys, but like I could not take my phone out in that hot mess because it was, like I said, it was like downpouring. But anyways, you guys, so that is the end of this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to be trying to switch up my content. Um, I know I post a lot of reading vlogs and I absolutely love doing reading vlogs, but I felt like it was getting um, just a bit, a bit repetitive. So I've been um, back bouncing some ideas off my aunt and my best friend Taylor and I 
have just been trying to come up with some ideas for um, different videos to do. So if you guys have any ideas of anything you would like to see, please let me know down below. I'm definitely open to suggestions. I don't really know. Like I really want to do a 24 hour readathon, um, but that's just a really big commitment for me just because of my job. I work Monday through Friday. And then on the weekends, my husband is usually off from his job, usually. So, you know, that's usually the time I spend with him. So I don't really have like 24 hours straight to read, but um, I, you know, have some time coming um, up where I'm off of work for like an extended period of days, not like a whole week or anything, but just a couple of days. Like that's not a weekend. So I was thinking about maybe filming a readathon. Um, but anyways, let me know down below what you guys think. If you guys have any video suggestions, I'm definitely open to them. Um, and if you guys like the vlogs, also let me know because I absolutely love filming them. But yes, so that is all you guys. I really appreciate you guys being here and I hope you really enjoy the content. Please check out my Instagram um, and my Goodreads, the same name, Sabrina underscore Reads and Rambles. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will check you guys later.